Hey, it's Sharice from the blog and the podcast Style and Stewardship. And this week, I just wanted to share what our family typically gets just to stay healthy, to stay on budget, a lot of produce, and hopefully you have an Aldi in your area, but I also got a couple of things from Walmart as well. These items you can pretty much get from any of your local grocery stores, but specifically, I wanted to share what I got. So if you have an Aldi in your area or Walmart, these prices may not be exactly the same, but I thought that they were really, really amazing deals. This one, I got a ton of produce because one of the things that we like to do is actually purchase in bulk a, a lot of our meat. So in this one, I did share some of the proteins that I got, some of the less expensive ones, but still, in, in, in my opinion, still healthy. Um, and those were from Walmart and from Aldi. I'll be sharing those. But if you're interested in seeing what I typically feed my family every week and what we like to eat, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to give you some, some ideas for dinner and for lunch and things like that. So hopping right in, I had to pick up some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These are super easy to throw in a stir fry. I love how these just retain so much flavor. $7.67 for that big pack. And then I went ahead and grabbed two packs of the ground chicken. They're not organic, but this is the next best thing. I believe they were $3.70 each. Pasture-raised eggs are like my absolute favorite because even better than organic, they're raised on small family farms and they can go out and they can forage and eat what hens typically eat. I got three of those. Those were about $4.49 each. Then I got Alaskan Cod. This is the giant family pack. It was only $12.99 and you really can't beat the price. I like to make these all the time, especially for fish tacos. Blueberries, six bucks for that. $1.35 for each one of these bags of green beans. But even though it says steam in a bag, please, for the love of your health, don't steam them in the bag. Don't do that. That's not, that's not healthy. Anyways, <laughs> pistachios because they're awesome. And I like to grab their salsa, their canned black beans, and of course their pasta sauce is my absolute favorite. If you check out the ingredients, this is one of the cleanest ones that you're gonna find. There's no added sugar and there's no canola oil, which is extremely hard to find. Same thing with their salsa, and it's so flavorful. That, that one tastes so fresh to me, I love it. Black beans, for those days I don't wanna cook black beans from scratch. These sweet potatoes were $1.99 a bag. They're not organic, but man, look at these potatoes, they're huge. Coleslaw, two packs of those, under two bucks each. $2 for the zucchini, this is organic. Perfect for pastas, a bag of avocados, $3.49, organic broccoli. Ginger was, I believe, $2, which is insane for all of this ginger. I love cooking with ginger. Great anti-inflammatory. Two packs of peppers for $1.99 and some cilantro for 75 cents. English cucumber. And this watermelon was like under $4. Organic grapes were $4 for this entire container, which I just went to Costco last week and it was about $7.99 for the same amount. $1.99 for these limes, great to put in your water for minerals. Two bunches of bananas, always. Great for smoothies or for a snack on the run. Pink lady apples have gotta be the best apples in the world to me. <laughs> These are organic and they were $5.79 a bag. Cara Cara oranges and these, they have such a good flavor. Um, a little more tart than your regular clementine. Really, really good. A pineapple, this was $1.85. We eat about one to two pineapples every week. From Walmart, I grabbed some coconut flour. I love to use that in my muffins. Some dairy-free classic ranch by Tessamays, and then some grain-free taco shells. Then I grabbed four plantains. They were 48 cents each. These are so awesome. We go through these things. Then I grabbed a rutabaga. Have you ever eaten a rutabaga before? It's really, really delicious. It looks scary, but it's not. Have you eaten it? Let me know in the comments. So that is what I got this week from Aldi and from Walmart. There were some things that we already had like onions and um, there were certain things that I had in my freezer. And as I mentioned, I already had a, a lot of our meat that we eat um, throughout the month. So I don't, that's why you don't see a lot of that in this specific haul. 
But anyways, if you are interested in seeing what our family typically eats and some meal ideas, recipes, I think there are a couple recipes on my channel right now. There are also some snack ideas, but let me know what kind of video you wanna see pertaining to food. <laughs> or pertaining to faith because this channel is all about encouraging you to manage a lifestyle of wellness and faith for his glory so anyways i hope that you enjoyed the video and be sure to like and subscribe peace